What's up guys, XBVRX. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can duplicate your tombstone and share it with your friend or friends right here in Modern Warfare Zombies. There are some other videos that show how to do this. However, I got a lot of questions on my previous dupe video if this was possible. So I figured I'd just take the time and show you guys how to do it. So let's hop right into it. You're gonna have your host. The host is gonna be the player that has the tombstone and wants to share that tombstone with their friends. And then we're gonna have our friends or friend which is going to be just the person that wants to receive the tombstone. So in my case, I'm going to be controlling both players. I'm going to be using my PlayStation for the Zombie Blizzy account, which is my alt account, and then my main account on PC XBVRX. I'm going to be doing that just to show you guys how to do this, as I don't have any friends available right now. But besides that, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So I'm going to have titles on the screen that say host and then titles that show friend. And those titles are just going to be so you can figure out which screen we're playing from so you can follow along pretty easily. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So the host is going to host the lobby. Like I said, that's the one that's going to be dropping the tombstone. Your friend just wants to join the host. So if you're the friend, you want to have a large rucksack. If you don't have a large rucksack, I will show you right now how to do that. You can either ask in lobby for someone to drop you some essence or you could do contracts such as bounties. Those are super quick and easy. Or you could go to this location I'm gonna show you on the map. All right, guys, now that we have enough points to go buy our large drug sack, we're gonna come here to the tier three zone. We're gonna find the shopping center. There's one right here, and it's gonna be 10,000 points again. Throw a decoy down just in case. All right, and then we can buy our large rucksack. Okay, and then once you have your large rucksack, let's just go ahead and hop right into the game. So as you see, this is our PlayStation account. We have our large rucksack. So now we're just gonna load right into the game. We're good to go. And then we swap back here to our PC. We're just gonna start the game like normal. All right, so now we're loaded into the game. If you're the host account, you wanna go collect your tombstone. And if you're the friend to the host, you wanna just meet the host over at their tombstone. All right, guys, so the host is gonna go ahead and grab everything like normal. All right, and then you wanna go ahead and drop everything for your friend here. And then your friend is gonna go ahead and grab everything, put it in your rucksack here. All right, guys, and as you see here, our friend now has our whole tombstone collected. All right, and if you are the host, you are good to go. You're done now. Just come here to the extraction on the map. It's going to be the Dr. Jansen one. It's going to be labeled extraction. And then you're just going to hop in the chopper. We're going to wait for the black screen. This timer is going to be a little bit longer because you are in the group with the friends. So just let the timer run down and then we're going to wait for the black screen. If you're on PC, it's Alt F4. PlayStation and Xbox is going to be the closed application. So as soon as we get this black screen. Alt F4. All right, the host is completely done. So let's focus back over here to our friend. From the friend's point of perspective, they need to go ahead and go grab themselves a tombstone soda. Either they can load into the game with tombstone or they can come buy one. Just find the tombstone icon on the map. So from here, you just want to go ahead, head anywhere on the map that you want to go down to collect your tombstone from. All right, guys. And again, we're just going to head to wherever we want to go down to collect our tombstone from. Make sure you don't have any self revives as this is going to mess up the glitch. And then you just want to go ahead and give up. Don't plead for help. Let this timer run down. All right, guys. And then from this point, we're going to go ahead and rejoin our friend that was hosting the lobby. And if you are high enough level, go ahead and throw the decoy grenades on. This is my alt account, so we don't have anything unlocked. If you do have decoys, though, I recommend it, as well as the ether shroud, because that can come in clutch, too. All right. And then once you have what you want, go ahead and ready up. The host is going to go ahead and start the game. All right, guys, and once we're loaded back into the game, as you see, we're going to have our tombstone for the host here. And then our friend is also going to have their tombstone. So we're going to go collect both of them. All right, so as you guys see, the host is going to grab all their stuff like normal. And as you guys see, our friend is also going to come over here and collect their tombstone. We're going to equip their large rucksack. All right, guys, from this point forward, the host is good to leave. So just go to the Jansen extract on the map. 
gonna be called extraction it's the same stuff we've been doing alt f4 on pc close application on playstation or xbox all right guys now switching back over to the friends account as you see the friend has everything that you had in your dupe they now have so now all the friend wants to do is go to an exfil preferably the jansen exfil the the one that says extraction on the map the one that we've been using however with my alt account i don't have that on lock so we're going to go to a normal exfil here i'm going to show you how to do this with a normal exfil and then you want to go ahead and pull up our close application button and we're going to close this right when we see successful exfil pop up as soon as it pops up you want to hit close game all right, guys, and on the friend account, as you see, we've loaded back into zombies. We successfully exfil with everything we had in our bag here. And I would like to mention, guys, that uh, you might run into this problem with your dupe. So say you successfully duped with your tombstone, you've exfilled, you come back to lobby, you have everything in your rucksack here, right? But when you go over to unequipped it, it's giving you this acquisition stash full message. Well, there is a way around that. All you need to do is hit swap and then for example, I'll show you right now. It says our acquisition stash says 11. But we go into our acquisition stash and then just equip anything in here. And then once you do that, it'll equip it and then hit unequip. And then as you see now, we have successfully unequipped it and we have stored our Wonder Wolf that was not able to be stored before, as you see. And I'll go ahead and show you guys me doing this to the rest of them so you can get the general idea. You're just gonna hit swap acquisition stash anything in here just hit equipped and then hit unequipped and then you just rinse and repeat this over and over and that is how you're going to go ahead and bypass the acquisition stash full here and as you see let me move my camera out of the way we have successfully taken everything out of our large rucksack and it was just telling us that the acquisition stash was full but if we do look down here we are now at 18. And this is on my alt account in which we just did the friend duplication glitch so hopefully that clears that up for you guys so that is how you successfully dupe your tombstone and share it with your friend if you have more than one friend that wants to get in on it your friend that you dupe to will just go ahead and drop their stuff and then you can just keep doing it over and over to all the friends that you have. You guys just do it that way. And that should clear it all up for you guys. So now you know how to get past the stash limit as well. And this is how you go ahead and drop your tombstone to your buddies. I hope this video was helpful to you. Again, we use my alt account here. So this video was kind of hard to make as I was swapping back and forth between the PlayStation and PC. So a like and a sub would go a long way. I really did put a lot of work into this video. Very time consuming, as you can imagine. So I do hope this video was helpful to you guys, though, in some way, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. But yeah, with that being said, as always, peace and prosper. Much love. We will catch you on the next video. Bye.